The faint orange sun on the horizon changed to a thin red line, but not for long. An onslaught of firepower blew up from the west and daylight was resurrected. Jez followed his sergeant's lead and rolled onto his front, watched, waited for the first round from the AK to spit out. When the shot came, he winced to see flesh and bone torn away from the top half of an officer's skull. The head separated, the brain was exposed, and before he'd even hit the ground, he had to be dead. Jez was overawed. At 600 meters, a good distance, but he could have sworn he'd heard the bone break and thought for sure he could feel the warmth of blood spray. Victor released a second round and another officer fell. Still, Jez didn't respond. The activity from the party crowd seemed to have almost slowed to a stop, but then animation returned. Women screamed, unable to work out how to get to an exit. They scurried about in panic, occasionally stopping and looking down at their blood-splashed dresses. Victor busied himself with his own work, but Jez knew that if he didn't get on with the job, he would have failed. He tried to get his thoughts together, but lightheadedness had taken command. He stared numbly through the sights and held a finger snugly against the trigger. But surely he wasn't gazing down that barrel at his chosen target. And surely he wasn't the one who gently squeezed the trigger. 